Okay, welcome to Bid Tender Auctions. This is our video preview for our July 25th auction. It ends Monday, July 25th at 8 p.m. and it's open for online bidding right now. All right, getting started, we have a Hobart 60 quart mixer with a dough hook, whisk, and stainless steel bowl. This mixer came out of a school and was verified to be working when we removed it. Next, we have a Hobart 30 quart mixer with the cage, no bowl or attachments. We have a Hobart 20 quart mixer with a bowl, whisk and paddle and dough hook. Next up, we have a Hobart 4156 commercial industrial size meat grinder. Next, we have an Avanco single door commercial freezer. Next, we have an Atosa double door glass refrigerated merchandiser. Next, we have a Trollson double door refrigerator. Next, we have a beverage air single door glass door refrigerated merchandiser. Next, we have a Trollson single door freezer. Next, we have a true double door freezer. Next, we have an Atosa refrigerated chef base with four drawers. We have a Waring Tostada Panini Press. Prince Castle Vertical Toaster. We have a Carnival King Double Burner Crepe Machine. An assorted lot of barbecue skewers or kebab skewers. We have a Dell Field refrigerated sandwich prep table. Next, we have a Victory Ultra Spec refrigerator with the racks for sheet pans. You just slide the sheet pans in wherever you want and the racks are adjustable up and down. And this is two-sided. There's a door on the back. but I can't open it because we have a generator back here. Uh, this generator is also in the auction. This is a Honda EB 11,000. I believe it's a 10,000 kilowatt generator or 10,000 watt generator, excuse me. There's 240 and single, uh, 240 single phase and 110. It runs on gasoline, has an electric start basic lawnmower battery to run the starter although the battery is dead we did have to jump start it but it starts just fine with the jump next up we have a true or excuse me a Hobart triple door refrigerator
And next up we have a stainless steel work table with a double door under cabinet. Next we have a heated pass-through merchandiser for wrapped food, sandwiches and such. Next we have 40 18 by 26 aluminum sheet pans. I've personally gone through every one to make sure they're all in a, approximately the same condition and removed any bad ones. So there's 40 of them, all in approximately the same condition. Next we have a Turbo Chef Rapid Cook Oven. Next we have an Amana AXP Rapid Cook Oven. Next we have three, almost four cases of brown paper bags with handles. We have a Hobart 20 quart, it's not Hobart brand, but it will fit a Hobart 20 quart mixer, whisk and paddle. We have a drop slicer. One of the blades are bent. Next, we have a number 12 meat grinder attachment, which can run off of anything with a number 12 drive, a Hobart Buffalo chopper, Hobart mixer, things like that. Next, we have a miscellaneous lot. Uh, plastic cambros, cambro buckets, cooling racks, cutting board, server tray. Next we have two fryer baskets, a wall mounted stainless steel shelf, and on a 48 inch stainless steel prep table with a stainless steel underneath as well. We have a spinning griller, rotational broiler. We have four poly bins with six poly lids. A Vulcan countertop steamer. Eighteen poly dough proofing bins with six lids. We have a Baker's Pride double door countertop pizza oven. The top drawer top door does need to be adjusted, it won't stay open. The stones appear to be in excellent condition. I don't see any cracks. Next up, we have a Garland charbroiler. This is the heavy duty charbroiler that they use in Chick-fil-A and various other applications. This one actually came out of a Chick-fil-A. Next up, we have a Metro Flavor Hold double door warming cabinet with adjustable shelving, humidity element. With the humidity element, it can also do proofing. Next, we have a Blackstone portable propane griddle on wheels. We have a Hobart commercial under counter dishwasher or bartending dishwasher. Next we have a Metro C5 under cabinet warmer under counter.
Going back here, we have a Max Cold under counter freezer. What appears to be a brand new Amana commercial microwave. This is the box that came in. Brand new, but we did test it out and it did not power on. Next we have a Duke double stat commercial gas convection ovens. Does come with a gas regulator. Next, we have a Garland Master Double Stack Commercial Convection Oven. This one is electric, can be wired to run on three phase or single phase. Next, we have a propane patio heater, which is sitting on top of a ice cream cabinet and sink with the scoop well. I say cabinet because it has a cabinet underneath, but this is not refrigerated. Next, we have a true single door, real granite top refrigerator under counter. Panasonic microwave. And lastly, removed from Waverly Elementary School in Frederick, Maryland last week, we have a Hobart commercial dishwashing station. This is a complete dishwasher. It was working when we removed it. They built a brand new school, so they didn't need this. They just got all new kitchen equipment. This comes with the overhead hood, the booster heater, a hot water booster. L-shaped dirty side table with a sink, a industrial garbage disposal, sprayers, and then also has the L-shaped clean side table, which is over there. Can't really see it up. And that's it. Again, this is bid tender auctions. All this equipment is open for bidding now and starts closing on Monday, July 25th at 8 p.m. Go to bidtenderauctions.com for more information. Have a great day.